as well. Dini. A bizarre story out of Utah County where some deer hunters had to duck for cover as a man opened fire on them. Police say the shooter was drunk and high on drugs. Central Utah specialist Sam Penrod explains what happened from Diamond Fork Canyon. Sam. The archery hunters were in this area of Diamond Fork Canyon when they say a man in an SUV approached them. There was some type of a verbal confrontation. The man drove away, but then police say he opened fire on the hunters and investigators say it was a very close call. The sun was just going down last night when the shots rang out. The hunters quickly left the area and had to drive down the canyon to get cell coverage so they could call 911. They told deputies where the man was last seen, and officers found his vehicle and a rifle inside. 32-year-old Gentry Joyner was said to be intoxicated and under the influence of drugs when he was arrested. For whatever reason, he wouldn't really, he wouldn't admit to taking any shots at him, and he wouldn't really talk to deputies about anything about what the confrontation was about. Uh, but the witnesses described hearing the rounds going over their head, and any time you can hear the rounds going over your head, uh, you're, you're pretty close. And that's a scary kind of a thing to be on the receiving end of a high-powered rifle. The man is in jail tonight facing charges of aggravated assault and drug use. And coming up on KSL 5 News at 6, why police say confrontations like these are more common than you might think. Sam Penrod, Live at 5. Sam, thank you.